Olympic champion and winner of the French Open title two years ago up against Wang Suwei of Chinese Taipei. Well, with Victor Axelsson being the number one seed, of course, uh, this is the top half of the draw. The current world champion, Kun Luwida Sun, has come through against the left-hander, Lin Chun Yi, in three games. And uh, also in this half of the draw, we will be watching a little later on the Asian Games champion, Li Shifeng, against the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Lakshya Sen. I can tell you the Ginting and uh, Loken Yu are on court right now, on court number two, and they're still in the opening game. So that brings you right up to date with everything that's happening. Incidentally, in the men's singles draw, we did actually lose two seeds in the first round, but they were both the bottom half of the draw, because you can see four seeds in the top half. We lost the World Championship silver medalist, Kodai Naro Oka, in the first round. He lost to Wadoyo. And the World Championship bronze medalist, Pranoy, the number seven seed, he lost to Liu Guangzhou. So two World Championship medalists out in the first round. So Victor Axelsson, the Olympic champion, uh, the two-time former world champion, and two-time finalist here. Winner two years ago and first reached the final 12 years ago as an 18-year-old. Quite extraordinary. He raced from the final of the French Open in 2012 to the World Junior Championships in Chiba in Japan. Well, if you're a Wang Suwei fan, that's a little ominous, so isn't it? He's not only not won a match, he's never won... I do beg your pardon, he's won... Side. Two games in the first a meeting between these two and the last meeting between these two, as you saw. The last time they met was in the second round of the China Super 1000 last year. So Victor Axelsson, who is 30 years of age now, the world number one. In fact, this is his 170th week in total as world number one. It's his third different spell. And this is an event where he's been a big supporter because it's his 11th appearance here. And as I was telling you, two finals. Well, he beat uh, Priyanshu Rajawat of India in the first round, 8 and 15, pretty comfortable in 37 minutes. Uh, this is only his second tournament of the year. He was semi finalist at the Malaysian Open, lost to Xi Chi in that semi-final in Kuala Lumpur and then pulled out of India the following week. Wang Su Wei is just a, a year younger uh, than his opponent. He turned 29 last month, uh, born in Taipei City. And he's uh, a reasonably tall athlete in that he's 5 foot 10, but nothing in comparison uh, to Victor Axelsson, who's 6 foot 4. He is making his sixth appearance here, and look who he beat in the first round. Defending champion and two-time finalist, Jonathan Christie, came from a game down. Uh, Christie did not have any uh, match points in that uh, second game, and it was 21-17 in the decider in an hour and 14 minutes. Now, in contrast to Victor Axelsson, who's only played one World Tour event so far this year, Wang Su Wei has played all five previous World Tour events of 2024. So an all-European uh, court officials in the umpire's chair is Michaela Benkova of the Czech Republic and Bert van Horenbeck of Belgium is the service judge. Ready to play? Well, Wang Su Wei, in my opinion, is always a dangerous player. He has the capabilities of beating the very best, as he's proved in the past, because he's beaten Chen Long twice and Lin Dan twice in years gone by. So he's still a threat, Steen, I think. I, I totally agree. Very, very uh, dangerous in the attack and with a fantastic net game. 
It's a little bit concerning to me that he withdrew last week in the um, German Open in the match against uh, Nat Nguyen. But perhaps that's been some problems with the back. He's, he's not young anymore, Wang away. so when you're traveling um, overseas, that's a long, long flight, and uh, might take some time to get over it. Yeah, and he did play a lot of tournaments last year. 26 <laughs> individual <laughs> tournaments. And to take the toll. And on my left, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. Victor Axelsen to serve. La ball play. It'll be interesting, I think, Service to see where Va Victor Axelsen is, Steen, because he's had this training period, and he does like his, his training blocks, doesn't he? Uh, when he played in the Malaysian Open, he had had a bit of a break over the Christmas period in that he and his family went to the Maldives uh, for a, a short holiday. And that, that's, that's a compromise that Victor's made with his family to go on holiday with, them, because he would rather be training. Yeah. But I think that that seriously does play on his mind in that, you know, when he's he's been on the practice courts, he's been training really hard physically. Absolutely. Then he, he, he feels full of confidence. Yeah. He, uh, he said... Uh, to Danish TV that he was sort of content with his win yesterday, but um, it wasn't like he was in, in top shape uh, or anything. You know, there were still adjustments needed to be made, but I looked when he walked into the court here and, and those courts, they looked, um, they looked strong. Yeah. It's gone what? It's gone wrong. For last... Oy, oy, oy. Oh, that's, that's a good shot. That's a good feed from Axelsen there to the smash of uh, Wang Su Wei. Very quickly. Always challenging that. Victor yeah. Axelsen challenges called in. It looked long, but could have just caught the outer part of the line, perhaps. Well, he's held on to the shuffle. He's convinced it's long. Yeah. And he's right. Good challenge. Service over, one, five, play. Well, that's too long on the back Service line there six, for Axelson, whom we presume is playing against the drift. That's gone wide. It's definitely a sideways drift from right yeah. to left. And that was exactly what he said uh, Seven, following one. his uh, win on uh, on Tuesday, that there were a bit too many mistakes in his game, even though he won convincingly against uh, Rajawat. There's another push to the forehand side of Wang Su Wei that Eight, has one. been gobbled up by yeah. the man from Chinese Taipei. This is the... Uh, Shot I love to hate the forehand service return on uh, <laughs> a low serve. Very rarely any good. Well, I said that he was dangerous. Nine one. away. Nine one advantage. What on earth is happening? Hey. 
he has to totally restart. Uh, Axelsen uh, runs away. He's come out super ready. Who, ch who won the toss, Steen? Um, runs away. He chose ends. Then one. This is extraordinary. Oh, he's been faulted. Deemed to have taken the shuttle before it crossed over the net. I'm not so sure. Yeah, difficult to tell from that yeah. angle. Super important for Wangs away to get to that interval within the next two, three rallies. Lifted to the forehand corner again, Axelson. Yeah. Yeah, once way again, too short. He has been punished. And so it's a seven point advantage for Wang Suwei against the Olympic champion Victor Axelson here at the mid game interval of the opening game. So be more cool and play it back to him. I know that there is a little bit of a thing here, but up on your own forehand, so you stand higher, so there is not so much space to him. So we get some more attacks. Because he is lifting. So, Steen, the words of wisdom there from 11, Victor Axelsen's coach and father-in-law. Yeah, that was basically all about the situation that um, we saw if the ones that were not on commercials, we saw it in, in replay. The uh, play to Axelsen's um, forehand net and his lift to uh, Wang Tsui's forehand five, smash. 11. And uh, Henrik Bode urged Axelsen to play back at him at the net. Instead of lifting. Short again. Look where Wang Zui's feet are. I think I think Axelson has been rattled a little bit by the two mistakes he made on the back line. Um, I don't know if the drift has changed. But th that's in many ways a little bit irrelevant the thing is if it starts playing on your mind it destroys your game because you you get insecure and that's the worst feeling you can have on the court yeah another one goes wrong with that back line service over 12 6. And, uh, one of the casualties in the first round. Oh, that's, Wait, that's a, nice a good smash. smash. Yeah. One of the casualties in the women's singles, Carolina Marin. I had a chance to talk to her this morning. I said, what, what, um, what happened? She said, oh, you know, I'm playing on court four and there's a huge uh, loading bay into the arena and the drift is very, very um, difficult to control. You have to wait. Uh, start. You can't start your hitting motion too early. You have to let the shuttle all the way to your racket so it's not an easy arena to play in that was the message the first two three days that it was an easy playable arena um, that's not necessarily the case there's a lot of um, 
tweaks to be made to make it uh, less windy. Yeah. Oh, that's well taken. Beautiful. Very well taken. 14, seven. Well, on the rare opportunities that Axelsson has had to hit in a downward direction, he's played winners. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. He's really um, maintaining the pressure on the Danes that wants away. That's brilliant. And I think from a Danish perspective, you, you sort of have to um, reassess the conditions and say, OK, I need to get my wind game going. Seven then I play in uh, Singapore, Indonesia, Nine. Malaysia to sort of get used to the conditions. You cannot assume that this is um, a, a slow playing, uh, no wind arena. Oh, that's a nice smash towards the right hip of Axelsson. Service over, 16, 9. The former champion and Olympic gold medalist, you're right, Steen, he's rattled at the moment. Yep. It's both Wang Tsui scoring himself, but also uh, accepting gifts. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was a lucky one from Axelsson there. Yeah, but I like the way that he stays alert, even yeah. though his opponent Seven is trying to kill the shuttle. He was ready and waiting. He didn't give up on the rally. No. Overcommitted going forward, Axelson. Probably the longest rally of the match, so. Oi! Yep. Good block from Axelson. Look at that. Got the neck board wow. as well. I like the sliced shot from uh, Wang Suwei. He didn't get any. Uh, we won't this time. Good shot. He had so many options, the block from Axelsson was rather Service loose. And um, because 18, Wang Suwei had 11. come forward, uh, the racket carriage above the shuttle, he could have pushed it, chose to block it, he could have played anything. Well, Wang Suwei just three points away from the opening game. Oh. Oh. Two points away. Service over, 12-19. Didn't do enough with the smash. On the way.
also eight game point opportunities for one to away. Just going wide. Shake of the head from the Olympic champion Victor Axelson. When 1 12 confirms the umpire opening game to Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. Hotel,我有很推门路出去 So one game to the good, Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. And if uh, our reading of the drift yesterday, if it's still the same today, Victor Axelson is now hitting with the drift. And he'll have to play the sort of uh, game that Wang Su Wei played in the first game, which was virtually not lifting the shuttle at all. Yeah, and that's really difficult against uh, Wang Su Wei because that's his... That's his playing style. He's super good uh, at the net. And I think what Axelson uh, should take courage in is being destroyed there. <laughs> um, the idea was that um, if um, Wang Zui is playing up against the drift now, his smash is going to bite a little bit less than in the first game, so Axelson might have an easier time defending. But there's no compromising in that. It was attacking, coming forward and killing it, and that's what he's so good at, Wang Zui. Wei. I think that's what's in the game plan, Jill. I think that's, if you've read that correctly, that Axelson is going to try and take more initiative. I just think, even though he's playing with the drift, he's got to... Uh, let's land it in. Four left. He's got to put a little de deception on the um, service return, and then the first once or twice, he's got to uh, play the backcourt, I think. Otherwise, Wang away will come way too close Five to the net. He missed left. that one, didn't he? He did. It was wide, yeah. definitely. Good call by the line judge. I can hardly believe what I'm witnessing here. No. I, I said right at the start that once away was dangerous, but I, I didn't expect this sort of dominance so far. There's one thing, though, that I don't know if I would mention it um, for Axis and if, um, if I were in a water, but sometimes once away has a tough time of winning the finals, beating the... Um, the uh, top players that he's in a good position to beat and so on but I mean right now here he's not being asked to um, to do a lot he's he's more or less being asked to just stay on court uh, Wang Su Wei so Axelson's got to uh, play a little bit better he's not going to go from from uh, his C or D game to his A game that's not going to happen but but he's just going to play a little bit better Game and 7-1 up, Wang Suwei. 
Exelson's mm. coach looking a little concerned, and well, he might. That's an amazing shot. A one. That's nice. Service over to eight. Little deception to the back court. Great play. Ooh, that's that's way wide. too high. Way too high. Ooh, came back in so much for my read. And it had good length as well. Good play. Missed it. Do I sense a turning of the tide? Play. 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 Four, eight. Wide. Service over. Shaking his shoulder, axles and like uh, we often see him do when he's not really comfortable. I think he does that most of the time. <laughs> not as pronounced as after that rally, I have to admit, Steve. Um, but yeah, there's always some get the shirt sitting yeah. right. But he's found the back line, um, Axels, and, and that's important for, for his chances in the match. And this is the situation where Huang Su Wei has to grit his teeth and really uh, stay in it. No hopers. I think he's gotten a little bit nervous, Huang Su Wei, already. He's saying, oh. First yeah. game and uh, and a big lead in the second. I should pull this off. Six of the last seven points to Axelson. Oh, that's one in. Fantastic movement to the front court there. Service over. Then seven. Yeah, good follow up. Service over. Eight, ten. I think one to wait, broke the strings of his Nine racket. Ten. Probably on that lift, which is quite extraordinary. That doesn't often happen. Oh, the photographers uh, got it wrong. They were already um, <laughs> on the way to cover the mid-game interval, but the umpire had to tell them to leave the court again. 
Down in the left hand corner. One point in it, nine ten. Perfect. Ten all. Win it. One eight adrift. And Axison has made Wang's way turn oh. from forehand to play that backhand we saw here where he missed it. That, that's what he's done so well in the comeback situation. Short. Is it? Oh. So it is Wang Sue who Seven has the advantage, albeit just one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game. Well, Wang Suwei may have the one point advantage in the second game, and he may already be a game up, but I feel the momentum is with Play. Axelson at the moment. Yeah, I agree. The strange thing is that Axelson is lifting towards that corner there, which seemed to be the fastest corner yesterday. Sideways drift and drift alongside the court. I wonder if it's changed. Well, points after the rally back at his coach, as if to say, yep, you told me to do that, or yeah. we were discussing that one. <laughs> I think we can safely say he was frustrated with yeah. that error. <laughs> he almost headbanged the floor. <laughs> <laughs> It's also for Axelson, it's about sort of he's in and out of the zone now trying to stay in the zone so you don't have to uh, to celebrate to your coach all the time. Not to focus on what's going on. Smash from one to win. But again, the, the service return, it's just too easy readable. I think it was a backhand return this time, but, but there's no deception on it. Well left. Now that was three, or was it four pushes into that deep backhand corner of yeah. once away in that rally? He's definitely targeting, targeting it, and uh, that last one, I think the sideways drift came into play and yeah. took it wide. 
And I think the problem for Axis is that it's, it's probably a little bit too one-sided. They probably need one extra um, target area, so to speak, or one uh, variation. French fans doing their level best to get behind the European player. He's also playing short runs away. Challenge here from Axelson. I don't think he'll win that. I saw that as long. Yeah, I agree. Indeed, it was. Challenge and successful. Good call, line judge again. Is running out for the Olympic champion to really find his range and his form. Brilliant. Oy. Utterly brilliant from right on the Wang line. Suwei. I think that got a neck cord as well, I think Steve. so. I think so. But look at this movement. Yeah. How he gets behind that. Finds the acute angle. That's courageous play as well from Wang Suwei. Don't mess with Wang Tsui at the net. Yeah, he's fantastic on the net, isn't he? Super. One of the very best on the tour. Good variation. Fantastic play. He's played quite brilliantly today, hasn't yeah. he? Once away. Just got a glimpse of the pink strapping on his back. It's heavily strapped. He was out for a long time with a back injury. But he's now just two points away from his first ever victory over Victor Axelsson. And what would be a first ever quarter final at this event? Three second round losses in the past. Play on, play on. Can one away hold his nerve? Desperation defence from Wang Suwei in that last rally. Look at that. Off balance there. On the floor there. Full stretch. Did well to keep the rally going, in all honesty. Oh, no, it stays in. 
Now, I saw that as in, and I don't think Wang Su Wei will win that challenge. In. It's very odd, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. Because sometimes the sideways drift seems to really have a, an influence on the shuttle and yeah. take it wide that time. Of course, it depends with these big arenas, whether there's a door open. Then it closes and... and we, we know there's a door open just behind us because that's where the Hawkeye servers are standing in the yeah. hallway. Yeah. Here it comes. Yep, on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16, 19. Play. He needs a little help bounce away if he's going to get this past the goal line, I think. Help as in an error from An Axelsen. error from Axelsen. Lucky net court. There it was. It is long, and it is indeed match point opportunities. Three of them for Wang Suwei to beat the Olympic champion. Match point 17. He's done it. What a super, super shot to end the match from Wang Su Wei. And the former champion, Victor Axelsen, the reigning Olympic champion, has gone out in the second round of the Onyx French Open. Beaten by an inspired Wang Su Wei today. 21-12, 21-17, the margin of his victory. Victor Axelsen at least made a fight of it in the second game, having been 1-8 down, uh, got back to 10 all. Uh, my goodness Match me, he didn't Wang Su Wei play well. 21-12, 21-17. Well, six previous losses in their six previous meetings. Well, that's what it means to beat the Olympic champion. Wang Suwei victorious in two straight games. 21-12, 21-17 in a match lasting just 37 minutes.
welcome back to the Adidas Arena here in Paris. It's day three of competition here at the Yonix French Open. Well, after that stunning a win by Wang Suwei over the reigning Olympic champion Victor Axelsson, we turn our attention to men's doubles, and it is the 